Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look that you see right here. Um, I just inspired by Lollapalooza. The festival's coming up in a week and I just went off the colors um, of their logo. Let me just pull it up real quick. Just right here, you can't really see on my thing, but it's like a teal, um, a coral pink, and then just white. So I just wanted to use those colors on my eyes and just whip something up. So if you like uh, this look, then please just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos. I'm gonna be starting off priming my eyes with the Essence Eyeshadow Primer. This is a great dupe for um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. I'm just gonna blend that out with my fingers. Okay, so now that I have my eyeshadow primer on, I'm just going to be taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder on a fluffy brush just to set that so it's not tacky for my eyeshadow. So I'm just kind of winging this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take ColourPop to a T. It's just a nice, um, just a nice light warm brown. I'm just going to put this in the transition. Okay, transition color is done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm gonna put this as a base all over my eyes. All right, now I'm just gonna take a shader brush and just blend that out a little bit. This is just like some MAC brush from a Christmas collection from years ago. Okay, so now that that is nice and blended out, I'm going to set it with a white shadow. I'm just using this BH Cosmetics Day and Night Palette. So I'm just gonna be taking the white from right there. So I actually was supposed to go to uh, Lollapalooza this year. I had my tickets and everything, but being in Canada and just the dollar and everything, and I just, thought about like everything else too late and when I started looking for hotels they were just ridiculously expensive and just had to decide against it this year which was sad but we did just go to Coachella in April but I managed to sell my tickets to a really nice girl and um, she's gonna have so much fun so if you're going I'm super jealous there's an awesome lineup this year if you are going and you see this video you should comment down below who you're most excited to see I was super excited to see Red Hot Chili Peppers and um, Bryson Tiller and I wanted to see G-Eazy because I missed him at Coachella and Lana Del Rey, J. Cole is my favorite. I've seen him like three times already but I know he's going to be amazing. Okay so what we're going to do next, you might have seen this in one of my other videos, um, but I'm going to use a liquid lipstick as an eyeliner. I'm going to use the same color as that video too. I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Karina because it's like a really nice bright pink, but I am going to go over it with something else just to kind of adjust the color to make it match the Lollapalooza more. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, And I'm just using my Anastasia, oh I wipe, I wipe every, everything wipes off with the brushes on me, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush I believe. I brush, but I'm going to use a fry liner. So I'm just taking it out and I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. Just like so. And I'm just going to dip my brush in there and line my eyes. Kind of wish I put tape on. Still could, but I'm going to wing it. <laughs> ah, wing it, get it? So funny. So now I'm gonna to wanna to connect. I'm gonna make my wing go over the white. So I've never done this before. We will see how it turns out. What the heck is on my chin? Doing these cut creases is a lot harder than I thought, although I've never done one before, so I'm sure it'll be easier next time. But I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit because 
I don't want to smudge. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna catch the other eye up. Okay, so the wings are pretty much even now. I am enjoying how this is looking so far. Very different for me. I've never tried anything like this, so I'm excited. But let's get on to the next step. This is super pink. I just want it to be a little more coral. So I'm just gonna be taking the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Slow Burn just on an angled brush to kind of go over just to adjust the color slightly so it's a little bit more coral and less pink. Just taking this Morphe M16-18. I don't know what brush that is. But I'm just going to... Oh, where's my camera? Like this. And we will just lightly set over everything. There's actually quite a bit of difference. I don't know if you will to tell, but it's, I really like it. Okay, so now I'm going to just do uh, some mascara. I'm using the Jordana Besh Lash Extreme. I was actually just thinking this would be really great if I had like a colored mascara. I would do like a teal or something mascara, but I wanna put lashes on anyways. So I'm just doing a thin coat. Okay, so now for lashes, I'm gonna be taking the Red Cherry Lashes in number 16, and just my dual lash glue. I can't find my regular lash glue, so I've used dark tone, which kind of sucks because it's not black. And I'm just gonna put these on off camera. Okay, so there's my lashes on. These are huge lashes. They are definitely not like um, everyday lashes for me anyways. I'm just getting used to wearing lashes though, so they could seem a lot bigger to me than they are. If that makes sense? But this is great. I'm going to move on to concealer now. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in uh, 20 Sand. For foundation for um, a festival, I just suggest going with your favorite thing that lasts the longest on you or um, like the L'Oreal Pro Matte, something like that because most of these festivals are really hot and you're wearing your makeup for a very long time. When I went to Coachella, I wore the L'Oreal Pro Matte. And it was good, and I have dry skin, but it was so hot I was sweating, so it was perfect. Sorry about my phone. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Okay, now to set my under eyes, I'm just going to use the Ben Nye Banana Powder, as always, with my e.l.f. blush brush. Okay, now let's finish off the eyes. I again, I'm gonna go in with my Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil to do this, just so everything pops. Always, I always put this under something so it pops. I'm gonna do my waterline as well. I'm just going to take a brush to blend that out a little bit. Perfect, and now to incorporate that teal, I'm going to go in with L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Endless Sea. Very, very pretty. Okay, so there we go with that. I do want it to be a little more teal, so I'm gonna go in win with, uh, this is the BH Cosmetics 88 Color Ship Cool, or 80, 88 Color Paddle Palette Cool Shimmer Eyeshadow. Just a huge um, bunch of different colors. So I'm gonna go with like kind of a greeny to get like the teal effect. So I think I'm gonna mix, oh, actually this is kind of a good teal right here. I'm gonna mix this shade right there, if you can see. Just on a pencil brush, it's a Morphe. Um, M321, which I love. And I'm just going to use this to blend that out. Going to go back in with that Best Lashed Extreme from Jordana to do my lower lashes here. Okay, now we got the eyes. Oh, actually, no, we don't got the eyes done. I'm going to do brow bone highlight and I'm just going to go back into that BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to use this, um, oh, if I can get it in there, just this white shimmery shade here and I'm going to go on my brow bone. Ok, 
Okay, now to finish off the eye, why not go a little extra? I'm going to take this Annabelle Glitter Rama um, Silver Glitter, and I'm going to use that for my inner corner highlight. But first, actually, I'm going to use a base for that, and I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer Highlight. I'm going to put that in there first, just with any brush. I'm just going to take this Annabelle Glitter Rama Liquid Eyes Silver glitter liner oh wait it's still good yep and i'm just gonna put some glitter right in here and i'm gonna bring it down bring it up a little bit okay now I'm just gonna bronze my face you do want your makeup to be long long wear when you're at one of these festivals so I've decided to use the uh, Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. This is like waterproof and I just find that it lasts a really long time on me. I'm going to be taking this random Morphe brush. Really swirling it in there. Almost hit pan on that. I always hit pan on my bronzers. For blush today, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced blush. How cute are these? I just love them. Um, this is um, Baby Love. Just very, very um, light color, like doesn't draw too much attention, which is what I want. I want the attention to stay on the eyes. Now I'm going to take the Bombs Mary Luminizer. I can't like hold it open because it's broken, sadly. Half of it's broken. Um, but I am just going to take this BH Cosmetics fan brush. Oh yeah, we're glowing today. Another layer because why the heck not? I couldn't find where my festival clothes were from Coachella, so I just put like this um, loose shirt on with like some netting and then like just a bralette underneath. So I don't know. Um, I think it looks cute enough though. And always, if I have my neck showing, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight here. Especially, you're gonna be outside. Why not? Glow everywhere. <laughs> Shoulder. Excuse my scar. Okay, so we're almost done. I thought I'm going to give you two lip options because you might want to go more neutral. You might want to keep going all out and go bright. So my first option for bright is to just do the Anastasia Beverly Hills Karina. Okay, so there's that. And then I just, I'm going to take, let's try it. Let's, let's try this out. This is the high beam. All right, so here is this look with the metallic lip. Okay, so this is it with the um, Anastasia Karina and the Benefit high beam rubbed all over. Really nice metallic lip. So you could totally do that with this look, but I'm gonna wipe this off and show you a different. Uh, show you a different lip option then for the other one i'm just going to do trap by ColourPop. i actually think i'm going to mix a little bit of beeper in with that as well and there you go with a more neutral lip you could totally go with like a nude nude but i just thought i'd still throw a little bit of color in there because why not and I'm just gonna go into my Mary Luminizer and just hit the center of my lips. Oh, now I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Master Fix. Always gonna set my makeup. Um, definitely recommend this if you're doing something for the whole day. Okay guys, so I'm back for just a second because I decided that I didn't like the um, ColourPop Trap and Beeper mix. So I just went in with um, L'Oreal Ferris Nude and I just feel like this just looks better in my personal opinion obviously do whatever lip that you like 
but I would just definitely do um, probably a nude lip. Okay guys, so that is the end of the tutorial. I really hope that you liked the lip I picked, the L'Oreal Ferris Nude with just a little bit of the highlighter on top. I just really like this best. Um, I do really like the Karina like metallic lip, but I just don't know if I would wear it with these eyes because I just like having the eyes be the statement instead of them competing. But you could totally do whatever you like. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It's really different for me. It's really fun. Um, if you do go to the if you do go to the Lollapalooza uh, festival, have the best time. Be safe and enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.